Dear friends in Milan and elsewhere, I send you warm greetings from Brussels, the heart of European decision making, with utmost respect and sympathy for your fight for a more sustainable food system and for restoring the broken circle of food production. As a politician and a citizen, I have always spent a lot of time and energy in raising awareness on food and agricultural issues. For example, by trying to change the European Common Agricultural Policy. It is why, together with my Finnish colleague Sirpa Pietikainen, I created a Sustainable Food Systems Group in the European Parliament. That is an informal platform where politicians of different political groups, NGOs and activists can meet and discuss how to get sustainable food higher on the political agenda. We also will work closely together with IPES, the new think tank created by former UN rapporteur on the right to food, Professor Olivier de Schutter. This is why I will launch a study on financing of agricultural research on October 22nd. It will show that more money has been spent on research bio biotechnology and other intensive farming methods rather than on organic or agroecological research. It is urgent that politics gets together with scientists and with civil society, with movements and with farmers to ensure a more sustainable future. Because as you very rightfully state in your manifesto, the urgency has never been so high. Yet we have to recognize the reform of the European agricultural policy has failed in the sense that taxpayers' money is not being used enough to really finance more sustainable and eco-friendly agriculture. The main reason for that is the tunnel vision of productivist-minded politicians and the lobbies of big companies of the agribusiness, who also manage to claim they are representing farmers, which is not true. But many, many farmers all over Europe are desperate. They feel more and more trapped in a system that is out of control. They have to sell cheap milk and meat at prices that are lower than the actual price to produce them. We know that biodiversity is degrading due to intensive agriculture. Also in European countries, agricultural lands are degrading and sometimes they are even biologically dead. You to intensive farming practices using too much pesticides and fertilizers. In November 2015, the Greens will organize a big conference on soils here in the European Parliament in Brussels. As the food sector is one of the major contributors, contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, it is crucial that the Commission has a clear strategy on sustainable food production and consumption in order to mitigate climate change. With recent reports citing that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has grown at its fastest rate in three decades, it is clear that we must act now. It is therefore madness that the European Union agreed during the climate negotiations in Lima in December last year that agriculture does not have to play a role in a climate agreement discussed in Paris in a few months' time. This, while we know that agriculture contributes at least 10% to greenhouse gas emissions. We can avoid a lot by reducing meat production and consumption, working with shorter food chains, by closing the destructive trading with millions of tons of feed supplies, commodities being shipped from Latin America to Europe, and other trading blocks. Also, healthy living agricultural lands can absorb a lot of carbon and thus contribute to vegetation. Food waste. It is still a high, as high as 30% of all food produced, some 1.6 billion tons every year. And still, agro lobbies and some politicians call for more production. Also, at the Milan Food Expo. This madness needs to stop. Increasingly, citizens, 
scientists, companies, organizations and policymakers are aware that the current food system is not sustainable. We have to change that. Science shows us that we simply have no choice. If we want, if we want to be able to feed 8 billion people in 2030 and with growing food security we have to act. Everyone has a role to play, especially consumers who can support regional farmers who produce by more ecological sound ways and so they are restoring a healthy economical and social environment in Europe's regions. A big question I have is where the businesses and companies are in this struggle. Because they have, thanks to their market power and size, a very important role to play in this transition. But some of them, like some big companies in the retail sector, or the few big agrochemical companies are part of the problem. Squeezing farmers to get the cheapest food prices is not the way out of our common problems. Keeping agriculture in a locked-in syndrome by keeping the farmers dependent on expensive fertilizers and pesticides is not the way out. European politics is not helping and we need maximum pressure from civil society. For example, high-level decision-makers at the European Commission are still blocking its very own action plan to address food waste and to promote a sustainable food policy for Europe. Even when the European Parliament and some NGOs have called for 2014 to be the year against food waste, and even at a time when citizens are more and more sensitive to this issue, the European Commission has refused to publish its own communication called Building a Sustainable European Food System. It was announced for early 2014 after a very successful public consultation. The 17-page document gathered signatures from three previous commissioners from DG Environment, DG Sante and DG Agriculture in April 2014, well before the European elections. But once again, trade-oriented trade forces blocked this piece of progressive and environmental policy. After questions from the European Parliament, it became clear that also the current Commission under Mr. Juncker refuses to publish this very useful and important document. I would finally like to quote the great writer Oscar, Oscar Wilde. Nowadays people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Therefore, we as Greens are standing with you to keep this fight for more sustainable food systems going. Include future generations in the debate on food sustainability and security as they will inherit this planet. And if we don't act fast to change, they will inherit its problems. Dear friends, we need a food revolution. Success.